Hey everybody, I'm James Mahoney of Black Lobster Academy. In the last segment, we covered the very basics of the Photoshop UI and how to open a file, navigate the image, use guides and grids, and save a file. In this segment, we're going to focus on brushes and painting. Photoshop is really powerful as a painting tool with a very deep feature set. I'm going to cover the most important and useful concepts while leaving some of the fancy stuff for a later, more advanced tutorial. But I'll give you what you need to know to get going. Okay, let's get on it. I'm going to create a new document with Command N. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the name and I'm going to set the size to, let's go with 1600 by 1000. I'm going to hit the letter D, which will set my colors to the default. And I'm going to hit the letter B to switch to the brush tool. When I select the brush tool, my parameters up here will allow me to change the way the brush operates. If I click here, I can pick a different brush. I can also change the size and the hardness. The hardness is whether it's a soft edge brush or a hard edge brush. This is a hard edge brush. This is a soft edge brush. For right now, I'm just going to pick um, this one. Now, I could use these buttons up here, but typically when you're painting, you really want it to go very quickly, and you don't want to have to be thinking about where the buttons are in the UI, so you use a lot of hotkeys for this. The great hotkey to use is Control Option. If you press down Control Option, and then you drag, if I drag left, it gets smaller. If I drag to the right, it gets bigger. If I drag down, it gets hard. If I drag up, it gets soft. I can also click on this button to open up a menu. It has all kinds of different features that will change the, the way the brush behaves. I'm just going to barely touch on this in this tutorial in my digital illustration course we go over this quite a bit and use this for a lot of different reasons. The other thing you need to do a lot is right just you right click on your pen and it brings up the brush menu and then you can pick whichever brush you want from there. Let's just try a few. Notice that this is a this is a brush that uh, is like a sort of a charcoal kind of a thing, but you can't really see the texture of the brush. Sometimes, if you lower the flow, that will help. So let's try a couple more brushes. Again, I right click, I can select the brush up here. Um, let's see, if I, let's say I pick a brush like this, I click on the new brush, allows me to change the name of it, and then I can change the settings and I've essentially created a new brush. You can see it down here. This is my new brush. Up here, I can access the brush menu which allows me to load in all these different kinds of brushes it also allows me to access the preset manager which allows me to control my own sets of brushes I can save a set of brushes I can load a set of brushes um, and as you can see there's a lot of different things you can do um, these are my brushes down here and these are the ones that come with uh, Photoshop let's see special effect brushes you can then when you select that you can either append it which means it'll add it to the list or it'll replace the list. I'm going to append it. I don't even know what some of these are. Some of these are new with, um, that's kind of cool.
And, you know, the best thing to do here is just, just try things. See what you like. Perhaps the greatest gift that Photoshop or digital media has given to artists is the ability to undo. So let's say I make a, a line, I don't really like it, I can hit uh, Command Z, do it again until I get it just right. One of the cool things you can do with any of the brush tools is force uh, Photoshop to work in just straight lines. For instance, um, I can Put the pen, pen down, hold down the shift, and do a perfect horizontal line or perfect vertical line. So again, it's holding down the shift key will restrict it. The other thing you can do is what I just did there is if you press down once and then press down in another place with the shift key down, you create a straight line. This is really handy, very, very, very useful. So I wanted to paint on this, but I wanted to pick a color from inside the painting. The way to do that, the quickest way to do that is to hold down the Alt key when you're in brush mode and it gives you the eyedropper, the color picker. And I can pick that color and you can see that it changes it down here and now I can paint in that. And you'll end up doing that quite a bit. The other thing you can do is you can click down here and brings up this color picker where you can change from by changing these you can change what this is representing what this scale here is representing um, so here you have the brightness saturation and the hue and you can pick your color over here so the, sat, the desaturated colors are over here, that's the gray scale, and the very saturated colors are over here, and then whatever is selected over here is in this bar. I think what I do mostly is I use the, uh, hold down the control option and command key, press down, and you get your HUD. This allows you to select your hue, and then while you're holding it down, you just drag in here, and you can pick whichever color you want. It's probably the fastest way to just pick a random color. I sometimes also will do this. And I think that's it for color. Oh, you can change your HUD uh, in the preferences. Yeah, here it is here, and it's in the general settings. Uh, color picker, Adobe, Hue, you have several choices. I use Hue, Wheel, Medium, and that works for me. Maybe you can try out whatever works best for you. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to create your own custom brush. You, make, uh, you can make a brush out of anything by making a selection. Um, for instance, I can make it out of this background, out of that image. By making a selection, going up to Edit, down to Define Brush Preset. You can see in that window it's going to make a brush out of that selection. Actually, what it does is the black area is the brush and the white or the lighter areas will have less of the brush. That's not going to be a very interesting brush. Typically what you want to do is isolate it either with a transparent background or a white background. It doesn't really matter. Let's um, Fill that with white, and let's just crit paint. So whatever's black is going to be the brush. So I'm going to make a splatter brush, just a bunch of dots. So now, if I come up and I hit Edit, Define Brush Preset, it automatically will find the border around the black areas. It will give me a chance to name it. 
and it's created a brush. Now, if I just paint with it, you'll see that it's not really all that interesting. Well, I suppose you could use that for some things, but typically what you're going to want to do is come up here to the brush um, presets. And let's just, uh, again, this is there's a lot of possibilities here, and you really just need to just try different things and see what you want to do. It depends on the kind of brush you want. And I, I, don't, I can't go into all of it, of course. So for this example, I'm just going to increase the spacing a little bit. Uh, no, let's do something different. Let's decrease the spacing. Let's mm, size jitter a little minimum. Let's make the opacity a little fade out, uh, maybe changes a little bit, and then fade out based on pen pressure. Let's see what that looks like. It's kind of interesting. Change the it's a little smoother. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. You get the idea. You try different settings um, and see what happens. You'll um, start to realize that there's a few of them that are most useful. The opacity. Uh, scattering, the transfer, color dynamics, and dual brush texture. Actually, they're all pretty useful. Uh, we go into great detail on this in my digital illustration course. We make a lot of custom brushes for specific purposes, and I'll show you how to use that to, to render all kinds of different things. Um, but I think for right now, that's pretty much it. I guess the one more thing I should show you is um, the preset manager. If you come up to the... Um, Edit, Presets, Preset Manager. You, get a, you can see all of your brushes. This is the brush that we just created. And I can um, select it and I can delete it. Uh, I can make uh, multiple selections by clicking and hitting uh, Shift or Command for a single one. And I can delete those and create just the a set that I really like that I, I want to use as my default set or has a particular characteristic and then I can save that set or I can load it load a new one and it's in here that I can manipulate these you can also do that for swatches gradients styles patterns contours custom shapes and tools and that's pretty much it so thanks for uh, listening to these uh, tutorial on brushes uh, next tutorial, we're going to cover uh, the other tools, which work very similarly to that, um, such as the eraser and the stamp tool, etc. So thanks.